joining me again today in my Project Live Monday video series. Um, and for today, I am going to be scrapping my week 12 from 2016. Let's get started. So, I've got a bunch of photos which I've already, um, you know, just lined, uh, kind of placed um, on top of the pockets. And I'm just thinking, starting a with the title um, photo. So that's a photo of a, a hot chocolate that I had that week and decided to just to use that as a title um, photo, title card. And now I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with that. And I decided to go with these um, these puffy stickers that um, I purchased on Sierra Calico. Um, I believe this is a pink one. I think it's it might be called Blush, I believe. And um, I think you can still get them. So in, in case you're interested, I think they come in um, red, grey, and I believe mint greens as well, which I've used before in um, in one of my previous Project Live um, spreads. Now, and now I'm just spelling out the word um, 12. So that's just, you know, week 12. And the next thing I want to do is just to stamp um, the date onto directly onto a photo. I decided to just use the stays on a black ink, which works relatively well, except I may have smudged the um, that first part uh, mainly because it's really slick when you actually print um, when you actually stamp directly on the photo, so you have to be really careful. But I decided to just go with that um, I'm happy with it and yeah and now the next thing I'm going to do is just to decorate that bottom uh, left photo um, and I'm just thinking I'm, I'm, I want to use something that kind of almost kind of on goes on the side of the photo um, I don't really want to write directly on top of that photo not because I don't like <laughs> writing directly on top of a photo but more that I, I don't really like using white pen, white gel pens. I, I don't really have, you know, I didn't have good experience in the last time so I decided just to um, use maybe a cut, a portion of a journaling card and then just stick that on. Now as you can see there, that's what I did. Um, that card actually came from a Studio Calico documenter kit. Um, I believe it's actually from, do, 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 let me see. It's from the Far Far Away January 2015 kit. And what you'll see, um, what you saw me doing there is just sticking down that um, hard, a hard sticker that came in a um, story kit, which is the Alien Wood story kit. This one is called Tough. And yeah, that's essentially it. So I just wrote down um, yes to Bible Love, which is the cafe we went to, and yes to cake. So um, something quite simple. The next thing I did is use this card that came in um, the Alia uh, was story kit once again. This is a tough one once again. And, and I'm just going to be using a bunch of, you know, stuff that came from the story kit um, tough one. Mainly because I think it's, it's a good time to use it. Um, I had a relatively rough tough week that week, so I decided to just, you know, use a bunch of the cards here in this week. And what I wrote there is essentially said, you know, I had my first, you know, meeting with a person and it was, you know, it didn't work okay. I was proud of myself, but it was a tough meeting. So, and as you can see me doing there is just sticking down a, um, I think it's branding strip, um, um, just to kind of create, give it a, a bit of color on top of that page. Um, and the next thing I'm doing is just sticking and um, choosing my next journaling card, so that 3 by 4 And now I'm thinking what I'm going to do with that top right photo. And I'm very sorry for, you know, the photo going above <laughs> what you could see over there. Um, but what you see me doing here is just I cut off a Project Live um, card, which I think it's, I think it's, from one of Emily Lay's um, kit, I think it's Happy Strawberry, sorry, Strawberry one, and I just cut off just that white part to be honest. So any any white journaling card will do, 
And then I just ran at the corner and now I'm just writing my journal. And once again, I also stick down, I stuck down that, um, the heart sticker there as well. And you will see me using that heart sticker quite a bit this week, just mainly because, you know, very much what, um, what Ali Edward does, which is, you know, use a bit of repetition, um, to kind of create consistency on your spread. And what you see me doing there is just sticking down that um, chipboard letter which says keep moving forward, which I thought fits really well with that um, with my new um, gym shorts <laughs> that I purchased from Lululemon. And now I'm just decorating that journaling card, um, doing my journaling, just sticking down the um, the star, the chipboard star there, the blue one, which came in a sort of calico document kit, not. Not the far, far away one, but it came in one of the previous documented kits. And now I'm just thinking how I am going to decorate that photo there. I decided to, um, so just looking through a bunch of stuff that I have. And what you see me doing is that I'll, I'll look through the tags that I previously purchased from Sue Calico. And I'm just lining them up. Um, I decided to use three of them and in kind of green, black and pink. And I'm just writing down my journaling about the food that you see me, that, that you, you, know, you can see in the photo. And yeah, and I'm just going to pop dot using some pop dots to um, pop them up. And so I just cut the pop dot into half, just you know, to save a bit of, uh, <laughs> don't have to waste a whole lot. And that's essentially it. And just lining that up. And I like number three, so well, actually, I like the kind of design look of number, you know, having things in, you know, three items. And that's essentially it for the first part. And now I am getting on to that second part of the spread. And the first thing you see me doing there is just sticking down this chipboard um, sticker which came in a story kit called Hard. So this is from a couple months ago. This is um, the Alleywood story kit, sorry. And now I'm just looking through a bunch of other cards that came in the heart story kit as well. And I decided to go with that one that says, Oh My Heart. And the next thing I will be doing is just um, decorating that bottom right photo. And... No, I skipped to the next one. <laughs> I skipped to the, the middle... Um, photo over there and what I, what you're seeing me doing is just choosing the chipboard um, words um, there's a bunch of words and you kind of have to go through them um, so these actually came from a Sue Calico project life kit um, and what I sent she spelled out is being together great ass <laughs> so I thought it was uh, you know I couldn't actually make a, a proper sentence out of it but um, I thought they're, they're cool words so and I'm just sticking down that heart once again as you know repeating what I had from the left part of the spread and now I'm just doing my journaling on to directly onto that card and I decided to just play with the lines that came, that, that's been printed on that card. And I, you know, just all written in, um, in capital letters, in uppercase. And so since she said, Andrew was so excited to get to have Yum Cha at Tim Ho Wan, which is a new restaurant that opened up here in Melbourne. Um, you know, we order so much stuff and we have a lot of food, but we managed to eat them all. So we were very happy. Um, and that's essentially it. So I'm now just sticking down the hearts once again. And just putting a photo in. And I was just thinking, how am I going to decorate that bottom left photo decided to go with something quite plain just using a kind of a checkered printed um, journal card which came which i think it's a project life one i was going to use that uh, the leftover branding strip i decided to go to go without 
and we're thinking about I'm now thinking about stamping it and so what you see me doing is just stamping the phrase of the heart of the matter which came in a um, story stamp um, this is the heart one and just stamping it down using some versifying black ink and now I am just gonna do some journaling I'm just using a precision um, pen which is a 03 my favorite one and now I'm just thinking how to decorate that um, actually you know I'm just gonna do some journaling onto that um, uh, 3x4 card that 3x4 card um, came from the story, the heart story kit from Ali Edwards. I decided to just do kind of minimal, some minimal journaling, just describing the food that I had for brunch, um, describing the photo that's on the top of that card. And now I am going to tackle this bottom right photo. Um, I decided to just stamp directly onto the photo, and which says so much hard um, using stays on black ink the stamp actually has a bit of a um, it's missing part of it so what you'll see me doing next is just to filling that in using my ultra fine sharpie pen which is my favorite sharpie pen um, actually my favorite permanent marker pen that I use um, it's really really it's really nice and um, it's fine it's essentially very similar to the precision pen 0.03 that I use um, that came from American Craft so in case you're interested in um, you know how to or, or what what's a you know what's my recommendation for writing directly onto the photo I'd say a sharpie ultra fine pen and uh, next thing you see me doing there is just sticking down that wooden um, um, flower that came in a Sue Calico kit. And that's essentially it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, here's some clothes up. And if you did, I hope you um, give this thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And if you want YouTube to let you know when my next video comes out, um, please subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.